Pueblo's November ballot is filling up fast. Just last night, the city council approved another measure to fund additional law enforcement programs. But as KRDO News Channel 13's Katie Spencer tells us, some of the initiatives are very similar. She's live outside the city hall. Katie, seems like this could lead to a lot of confusion. Yeah, Bart, this is a record year for initiatives, according to the clerk. Several are up for debate, but the big question is if voters will be able to tell them apart when they head to the polls. Thousands of signatures collected by different groups in Pueblo, all to change the laws on everything from marijuana to law enforcement. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of organization. Uh, you know, you got to have a lot of heart to do it. This year on the November ballot, just from the city alone, there are four council initiatives and two citizen initiatives. And city officials say this is the most amount they have seen in years. Well, I've been clerk for 22 years, and I've never seen in the city limits of Pueblo, I have never seen competitive ballot questions. One of those competing questions is between the city and the anti-marijuana group Citizens for a Healthy Pueblo about the legality of retail marijuana in the city and if there should be retail stores. With two of them on there, it's going to be confusing to the voters as to which one says what. Um, and I think voters tend to um, get confused and just vote one way on all of them. While the city council ultimately decides what goes on the ballot, President Steve Naraki says it's not that simple. And we all have been told by our, our city attorney that we really, a citizen's initiative, we really need to, as long as it meets all the, uh, the criteria, we need to just let that go on to the ballot. For voters, deciding what to approve will take some careful consideration. People are knowledgeable enough. They're going to figure out what they want. The only fear from some, confusion could lead to a no vote. Just in case you were wondering if both marijuana questions pass, it will be up to the city's attorney's office to decide which one takes precedent, and that could end up in a lawsuit. Reporting live in Pueblo, Katie Spencer, KRDO News Channel 13.